Have you been struggling with beating the second boss and have a nice death? I'm here to show you how to beat Grimes pretty easily. We're going to go through all the moves right now. We are right outside of Grimes' office, and we are going to follow the same structure that we did in the Brad Guide. By the way, if you haven't watched the Brad Guide, I will put it at the end of the video as well as in the top right-hand corner right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through his moves. I'm not going to really fight him. And then we'll then we'll take him out. OK, so we're going to we're going to mess around. Disclaimer, disclaimer. This is not a hitless run. I just want to I just want to see show you guys his moves and ways to avoid them. His moves are pretty simple, really. There he is working hard as usual. Again, first rule. First rule of boss fights is always patience, patience, patience. Take your time with them. It's not a, it's not a race. Once you know the moves, you can t take your time. He goes underground. He's going to spit these rocks at us. You can dodge them however you want, right? So I kind of walked in between them. Then he punches the ground. And he's, yeah, four sets of hands come up. The third, the fourth set is a, is a triple. Big fist, right? So you just walk away from that. Another way to dodge those is to stay out here. You can see the second set that he spits is, a, is only three. Well, that hit me, right? So you can't do it there, but the second set will miss you if you stand here. Easy, easy enough to dodge those. I believe that's his whole first. Yeah, so you can just easily line yourself up to dodge that stuff. I believe that's his whole first set of moves. Yeah, okay, so we'll get him into the second phase. Second phase is a little bit trickier. You can see those four sets of hands come up. It's easy to read the telegraph on that big punch because he winds up for it. Just jump around. You can probably dash through that too. I always prefer jumping. It's just my preference. Big punch. Bits a little bit at us. Not too, not not too hard to dodge. I think that now we're in second phase. When he blows up like that, we're in second phase. Right. So big punch. He still does the big punch with the telegraph. He does that and that. But then he has a straight. Then he has the second or the third shot where he spits straight forward. All of the fists are going to be triples this time. And then the fourth set is a the whole room so just jump when that when that comes up and i just dash to, to maintain my hang time and that's it it hit me there because i didn't i didn't jump high enough i dashed too soon but that's it so he, i was in range for that that's his move set right if you're back here you're generally pretty safe from that Anyway, we'll take him out. Oh, oh, this move. There it is. He slams the ground. You don't want to be in the range of that slam. When he slams the ground, the bombs fall. You don't want to be in the range of that. Just stay away from his fists. <laughs> stay away from his fists when they're coming down. And we'll wipe him out here. That's Grimes. But we went through all the moves. I forgot about the one where he slams the ground, the bombs fall. And again, the bombs, you can just kind of dash around. I think if you stay closer to him after they start to fall, after he pounds the ground, you have a better chance of avoiding those bombs. But they're pretty telegraphed if you just take your time and you're patient with it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This was the Grimes guy. The next up is Crank, the boss that I find to be the hardest in the game personally. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to catch more Have a Nice Death content, and I will catch you later.